Chica. Now, for those who can't see up, is my ancestral name. Um, see up is a designation given to uh, people in our community that is put forward by their families. See up designation in terms of the Indian Act has been identified as a chief. So I am one of 16 hereditary chiefs of the Squamish Nation, and I welcome you. I welcome you all to our territory. We have a fairly large territory, uh, but one of the things that we also have in our, in our territory is impact. You are standing in probably one of the best built high-rise areas in, in Vancouver, and probably the highest technical high-rises in, uh, in North America. In the old growth forest, you will again be towered, but this time by the forest itself. I really hope and wish that you have the opportunity to sit in the forest in the quiet and the peace, because that feeling is a lot different than what we're having right now. what you can and take it with you when you leave this place. Stay here and you absorb it all. Just take it all in and put it in here and put it in your heart. It don't mean anything until you put it into heart, what you see, what you hear, what you feel. In the witness program, what we do is we come down and we sit down together and we listen to each other. We don't try and convince each other of things. We, we just listen and talk. We're inviting everyone up to, to come here and be a part of this. And I've watched the different environmental groups work together up here uh, because this land is important to a lot of people. I know this event was about uh, someone in, in Interfor saying that this land wasn't important to people. And the area that, that they're talking about is an area that we take people up to uh, to show them when we come up on the witness weekends. And there's these two huge uh, fir trees there that we go and we sit beside. And I know I would be very sad to see those go. We have to work with people, the public, and having them understand for themselves what was happening. Because it wasn't being reported in the media to the degree and to the honesty of what was really taking place. And we really felt that if everybody could actually see for themselves what was happening, that we wouldn't be able to destroy the land in the capacity that it was being destroyed in. I say here to Interfor today, I ask you to please listen. Corporations should not own and control nature. Shareholders do not represent people. People don't represent nature. I need you to listen. And I speak for the streams I've bathed in, the woods I've sat in, the deer I've seen, the ground I've touched, the bear who came to me in my dreams and asked for help. I just ask you to listen. I've been thinking a lot about what it means to be human, and I think that what we've lost is the ability to listen and as a society and, and in general, I think that we all need to learn to listen. I see listening as uh, 
being spiritual, being in touch with our spirit, being in touch with our soul. Opening up a sacred ceremony to the public for the first time uh, in history as a way of saying, come out, this is an invitation. We're inviting all people to be part of this. So it, something beautiful has started. And I, I never imagined that it would be this big over a few years, and it just continues to get bigger and bigger and more beautiful. When you hear your name called to witness, you become, what they say, a valuable person. You become a runner to the ones that couldn't be here to take the words of what you saw. You'll see many things while you're up here. There's a lot of people here from the four directions of humanity. They've all brought their teachings and experience here. I hope, I hope maybe this evening or sometime during this weekend you'll get a chance to speak with each other, to talk to someone you don't know and listen to their words. And I hope this won't be the end of our sharing, especially this evening around the campfire. We have a lot of time to sit down and get to know each other, to share a meal and a fire and some stories together. I'll see you. creates something and lays it at the feet of a community and they have to pick it up with all the responsibility, with all the knowledge of what this signifies. And for those of you who are here, it's all the people pick this up on their backs and carry it up this hill from down where those cars are. You would see a, a community of people who was very, very strong, who had a lot of heart, who believe in these ideas no matter who we are or what we do. I'm a small part of this. This was an old tree. Every spirit that walked by, every animal that lived around it, every human being who came and prayed and did ceremony underneath it, their spirits have grown up inside this tree, waiting for people to do the work to let it out. That's, that's all I did. Cedar tree is our people, is our ancestors. The cedar tree used to close us, used to bark. The cedar tree, we used to make canoes out of it, make paddles, make our houses, our longhouses. The cedar tree took care of us. Just as you are important to one another, the forest is important to you. Each one of these trees is like a book in a library. This place is like our church and our school. You see that it's not in the best of conditions. What, where we're standing is probably one of the last opportunities that Squamish Nation has to connect, connect for all of us to come home to a place it's still the same, not only as Spalls Creek was in 1850, but the way the whole continent was in 1491. Where the, the road ends just like this. It's complete howling wilderness all the way to Bella Coola. And the, uh, that's the point. We'll walk to the end of it. It'd be a good exercise. And you find yourself standing, literally, uh, in a place where if you walk 10 feet, you're, it's as if Columbus never came. wanted to feel like you were walking around the coast mountains in 1830, uh, there it is. <laughs> I know that you're my family because you're human beings. We're all the same. We respect each other's differences. But we also celebrate our uniqueness, and that's a part of what this figure means. I hope that when people come here, they, they see that.